Hello family, today we're looking at another exciting role, a cyber security consultant and this job pays over $100,000, all right? We're going to be looking at the job roles and description. We're also going to be looking at the resume that will get you a knock on the door of interview for this role. Let's dive deep into it. Who is a cyber security consultant? You may want to ask yourself like, who is a cyber security consultant, right? This is the role right here. Now, a cyber security consultant is a professional who specializes in providing expert advice and services related to cyber security. That's basically what it means. You specialize in providing expert advice and services related to cyber security services. The primary role is to access, analyze, and enhance the security measures of an organization's IT systems. So you want to make sure that you help them to enhance the security of their IT system. That is basically what your role is. And this job pays about $135,000. This is it right here. $100,000 to $135,000. This is a very good opportunity. Now, this is about the company. You can read that here. Now, the responsibilities to perform security assessment of IT system. You use tools for that. You, all right. You use tools to perform security assessment. Are you also going to review assessment of organization security controls? Now, you, they have policies, processes, and configurations. So you want to review their policy, your process. And configuration of their policy means that the security policy that they have the processes contains how they manage their security how their systems are managed all right those are the processes and the configurations are how the systems or their digital infrastructure are configured including their operating system the server and everything you want to verify that they comply with security standard okay so there are security standards that you'll be working with. It could be like PCI DSS. It could be SOC 1 or SOC 2. It, uh, any of the security standards, right? You're going to make sure that you want to see, are we complying with this security standard? You're also going to coordinate and conduct pen testing. So coordinate means that you're going to be working with the guys that will conduct the pen testing. It is not actually your job to conduct pen testing. You're going to be working with the team that will do that. And pen testing, if you don't know, pen testing is just simulating a real life attack. You want to know how vulnerable or how weak your uh, entire digital infrastructure is. So if you want to know how weak or how strong your infrastructure is, what you do is pen testing. All right. It is called penetration testing. It's, a, it's just simulating real life attack. To know how strong or how weak your infrastructure is you're also going to coordinate with client organizations state department and federal agencies to perform security audit activities uh, you're going to prepare reports that document findings from security assessment so the assessment you're going to be doing right here you're going to be having some assessment right so here you're going to prepare the report from that assessment now, when you see something like this that you're going to prepare a report, do not be scared. There are formats that you're going to use, okay? I believe the company already has existing format of reporting. So you're not trying to bring your own or you're not trying to reinvent the wheel. You're going to follow the process and the format of reporting findings from security assessment. And you're also going to advise project managers of security and privacy requirement required by state and federal agencies so this is you getting to know what are the requirements of the state and federal agencies when it comes to privacy so you're going to be able to advise the managers and the teams that are involved you're also going to assist with development and implementation of security standard and best practices that is very easier to understand and the last one recommend security enhancement so basically from these responsibilities like i always tell you make sure you have a common denominator i have some things that you can tell that this is what you're looking for when you're looking at responsibilities so right here number one is that 
they want you to be able to perform security assessment all right number two they want you to be able to assess their policy their procedure their configuration all right and number three they want you to be able to work with the team that will conduct the penetration testing number four when that pen testing is conducted they want you to be able to write a report of your findings and like i said you're going to have a, a kind of format that you're going to follow in writing report okay from that you're going to be able to stand in a position to recommend security enhancement how they can enhance the security how they can make sure that their digital infrastructure their data are secure all right so that is basically what you want to do so like i have said google these responsibilities learn them the ones that you do not know youtube is your friend now you can look at the qualification here i don't see any qualification here that is technical that you can't do pay close attention to detail self-motivated strong analytical and conceptual skills so you can see all these are experiences things that you can do this that you can learn they're not you, you don't need to know how to code you don't need to know how to hack you don't have to be a security guru to be able to do this job okay the education bsc or ba degree is a plus all right can you imagine that so even those who don't even have bsc or ba they're going to apply because for this bsc or ba is a plus so if you have bachelor's of science or you have uh admin or anything and you apply you're you're already on your way okay so you can take a look at the education and everything and like i used to tell you don't be scared by everything you see here recruiters will write all the things that they can think of as requirement but that does not mean that you have to meet everything okay if you meet one or two requirements here you can apply and like i used to tell you security systems like this let's take a look at this security system dlp steam uh, steam ips uh, irs publication and things like if you don't know these things learn them you have to learn them google them check youtube okay don't because of that not apply and compensation as hundred thousand to hundred and thirty five thousand dollars now let's take a look at the resume that will help you be able to apply for this role and get you an interview and if you don't know in the description below there's a link to this resume that you can download and then be able to refine and update your resume to be able to apply for this role you have your name your city your zip code your phone number uh, email also you can add your linkedin as well and we have your professional summary here we have the skills right here and we have the experience right here these here are carefully crafted to be able to help you get an opportunity with the hiring manager to be able to get interview also we have accomplishment and education and if we have some certifications as well you can add them now for the interview make sure you understand this experience It's very very important understand everything there google them number two what i have said earlier about responsibilities make sure you understand them all right understand vulnerability understand assessing them how do you do security assessment how do you report vulnerability how do you uh, write reports those things are the things that you have to know and then when you apply and you get interview and you're able to create stories around this you'll be able to nail the interview i hope this has been of you know value to you if you don't actually need this role and you know someone who does to share with them let them be able to apply and i will come again tomorrow with another exciting opportunity in the field of cyber security see you guys tomorrow bye